of that great local government, Honorable Chief Mayor Obina Nweke, you welcome to Infocus. I'm delighted to be here. I must say, I appreciate the interest you've shown, you've shown on being on this program. That shows how committed you are you know, towards having your people. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, we are aware that um, you, we are all sworn in on the 2nd of uh, April. Exactly. That's roughly getting to 100 days in office. Yes. So tell us, how, when you got to the day, how did it start? Well, um, immediately I was sworn in, we were told to quickly go and take charge. So the first thing I did was to quickly stop by to one village called Umoye at Imeria my ward, where I've already organized up to people to wait for me there, uh, the communities to give them a little enlightenment on how to prevent this uh, pandemic. So what I did, my first primary assignment was quickly to rush to Umoye in Imeria right? and sensitize the community because that was the beginning part of this uh, uh, coronavirus uh, stage. So we quickly moved into Umoye to talk to the people and tell them how to keep social distancing and tell them how to use sanitizers and tell them how to prevent this uh, uh, crisis that was that time uh, coronavirus mm. pandemic. Mm. Yes. I see. So from there, I quickly now went to the council the same day. So when I got to the council to take charge, you know, we have to get into the council and uh, met with all the security chiefs. There were the local government, uh, the DSS, the huh? DPO, the civil defense, the head of the civil defense, and the director of admin. That. So from there we we took it from there and started started job immediately. I see. Yeah. Um, ordinarily, one would have um, thought that uh, with the ravaging coronavirus, most of you men may have an excuse to give, even if it don't work. But that's not for emo people. That's not the emo spirit. All of you actually started working, isn't it? Exactly. Uh, meet coronavirus. So tell me what you've been able to do so far. You know these three months. Yes, uh, we've been running what we call e-governance mm -hmm. because our governor is a smart governor who also believes in e-governance, 24 hours running of government affairs. Mm -hmm. So uh, after we met, we decided, I decided to take charge of the local government, uh, quickly set up uh, mm -hmm. a task force on COVID-19 and also to Create a, I also created a subcommittee uh, to take charge of enforcement, enforcing the COVID-19 laws. Okay. So with the head of Department of Health and other, other members, we, call, we uh, inaugurated a, a tax force on health, sorry, on uh, coronavirus. Okay. From there, we quickly moved to the borders to secure our borders, because in Gopal uh, strategically located. Uh, on the other part is uh, Owerenta, which is in Abia State, mm. and Opala in Imo State. Okay. And there's a lot of traffic flow over there. So what we did was to quickly secure Owerenta border at Imo River there. Okay. Uh, we also secured Amala uh, Eche border. You know, and we quickly also went to a place we call Umoga, that's a river state border bordering Umoga and LLM area. Mm. Yeah. So you now we have about five borders. I see. Yes, in Ngopala, that's connecting to other states uh, like Abia River State. I see. Exactly. I see. So our mission was to secure the borders so that everybody, every passenger coming into Imo State must be screened and with, with uh, no smart that we were carrying to distribute at the borders there before the other people now got the information that they must be wearing uh, no smart before crossing. At that time it was also a total lockdown except only people on special duties. So our people were there at the borders trying to keep 
our state is safe. Yeah, it was all over the, um, it was everywhere. It was also in the news when you taught the various border, you know, communities, mm -hmm. and when you taught to ensure that uh, the right thing was done. Mm -hmm. It was read on IBC radio and television, and also across the, you know, uh, social media. That's quite commendable. In case you just joined us, you are listening to In Focus. And our guest is the IMC chairman of Ngopala local government uh, area, Honorable Chief Mayor Obina Nweke. Now, Honorable, how many communities do you have in your, how many wards do you have in Ngopala? Can we know them and know the councillors uh, that are representing in each of the wards? Yes, in Ngopala local government area, we have uh, 11 wards. Okay. And, uh, let me start from uh, what we call Ward 1, which is Amala and 2, okay. Obokwe, Oboro, and Alolo. The councillor representing Ward 1 is called Honorable Chigemezu and we're mother success. Uh, in LLM OBK Ward 2, we have Honorable Godi Ebo. Godi Ebo Ndewo. Uh -huh. We also have uh, Ward 3, we call Azuzu Ward. Okay. Azuzu is a very large ward. Two, no, 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 no. So in that Azuzu Ward, we have Honorable Ikechin Nadi as a councillor. Then we also have a very large ward again, uh, Opala Eziyama Ward. Opala Ndewo no, Maman, Maman, Missy Kelevin. So this Opala Isiyama ward is a very large ward. In fact, the second largest ward in uh, after World War one uh, in uh, Ngopala local government. So we also have Ward Five, which is Imeriwe Ward. Imeriwe ah ah eh. So Imeriwe Ward, we have Honorable Remi Okere as the councillor. Um, ward Six is uh, Nguru Mawa. What? Nguru wa mama no, mama no. Ekwe no ojio. So we have uh, Honorable Magnus Lemadim as the uh, uh, councillor of that Nguru wa Ward Six. Uh, in Ward Seven is uh, Ihite Ungo. Omokabia. What? We have uh, Honorable Temple KG. Sorry, Ndi, Ngonde Wono, oh, the IMC chairman, Nabono, he won't have a landlord. He won't have a landlord in Dumuneke, only what seven, and they won't know. Yes. And uh, when you come to Ward 8, uh, which is Ohekele Munori Ward, Honorable Charles Eke is the councillor there. And they know, and they won't know, Ohekele Mamano. Now we go to Ward 9, it's called Umuhu Ward. Udumuhu Mekano, Ndewono. Now, if you come to Ward 10, it is uh, called Obiangu Ward, okay. where Nze Ogonus Diala is the councillor there. Obiangu, Mamanu, Mamanu. To Ward 11, um, Umuhiago Loga Ward. Is uh, mm -hmm. where uh, Honorable Jaffet okay. Jaffet uh, is the Jaffet Njoku okay. is the councillor okay. of uh, that ward 11. The law, no more Yagunde Wono, yes. So, um, I've been cooperating with the councillors, we've been working together. Okay. Then we also have two board councillors who were added. Uh, Honorable Stanley Malu Woba from what is yeah, okay. for youth okay. from what seven ago Ihita Momokabe Ward and also Mrs. Leona Mpocha representing the women. Uh, she's also from uh, Ward Two OBK LLM Ward. So everything has been moving on well. We we took charge of the local government, though we met a lot of rot. Uh, we starting with trying to put them together okay. right well in case you just joined us you are listening and of course watching the chairman of uh, Ngo Bwala local government honorable chief mayor Obin Naweke 
many Ngo Islands are watching you uh, from Oma here, one of your people. Uh, this is, uh, he says, I am uh, Mojaja from uh, Umo here in Gopala. That's uh, Chimwanya Chigosiri. We're residing and watching you now from Oma here. He says he greets you and um, would uh, please uh, ask that you look into the issue of Badros in Ngo Bala. Badros, right? Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, from him with the Good job, Sir Jerry. Thank you. Thank you. Right on as you continue to in this uh, laudable job, keeping Imolites abreast of uh, goings on in the various LGAs. And I want to welcome the chairman of Ungopala, that's uh, Umeboro John Bosco uh, in Kechuku. What about the issue of security in Ungopala? Can you give me just a brief of what is happening there? What are you doing there? Um, at this moment, every town is secure. Uh, when I assume of this. Um, but what I used to have this record of bad information about our people, but we are all good people. The governor, His Excellency Distinguished Senator Hoku Zadema, provided um, enough security uh, to Ngobala to secure our people. So we have a special security force uh, from South at the Ngobala South, which is the Navy, comprises of Navy and other personnel, other security personnel, mm. and the Air Force for Ngobala North. Now, in this setup, we have the Nigerian police, the civil defense, and the SSS. So we, have, we are doing what we call a security integration, okay. where we synergize together, and trying whatever we can to keep the our LGA safe. So at this moment, our LGA is safe, and we are greeting our governor, Senator Hoku Zadema, for keeping Ngopala safe. Omawene, wait. Political, wait. Financial, wait. Emo state, wait. You know what I'm talking about. Thank you. Yes. Um. To put food on the table of Ungopala people. Yes. Chief David Light in Abelba, the Honorable Commissioner for Information and Strategy, has this to say about InFocus. This is a wonderful idea, it's a good program, and I think it, 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 that is the only way that uh, the people can be held accountable. The people are free to make their comments. That's the way, so we should be encouraged. Mm -hmm. and so that people will know that this government belongs to them. They are free at any we time. We now open the phone and we will come. They are free at any time to disagree. They are free at any time to hold any opinion. And we are also free to react and say this opinion is not correct or is correct. That is the whole idea. That is the whole idea of democracy. It is only through that interaction that we understand ourselves better. And so. Oh, it's a wonderful program. Anything that we're we coming down, right? Government officials accountable to the people is welcome right. because that's the best way to show the people that government is accountable. Listening to In Focus on Audience FM, and our guest is the chairman of Ungopala, Honorable Mayor Weke. Let me inform you that at half past one, you will be interfacing with the Commissioner for Health, Imo State, Dr. Mrs. Uh, Damaris Osunpo. You know how busy they are trying to contain the ravaging corona in Imo State. But she will be here. Of health in Imo State Cossie of in focus, and that's at half past uh, one. Um, honorable, yeah. what other things can you remember you've been able to do, you know, these three months? Uh, can you tell us, and then, um, <coughs> can you do the next uh, one or two minutes and greet uh, Dengo Bala? Maybe using the language now, can I debate in no? Like I can do, oh, what else you mean? Oh, okay. so, Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, well, let me first uh, okay. say one or two things uh, based on your question. Yes. Uh, the traditional rulers of Ungopala paid me a courtesy call um, last month. Okay. Well, 
Maman, bien, papa, 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 Kai weli tulu, unu lanya, health center yi wana lango bala de 31. Na ane 10, buwehe yi wana equipment ni mea. Angobo na anye, obu coronavirus uja, yi mbuwe bidi lono. Oga le bidi lono, omu chapu, meka yi mbuwe bala de ma. Omu oge me yi hendoze me nambo. Unu lanya, uzo nguru. Bia bu muneka anu wale o gobona ina ane ya gobona hoku zote mma. Unu lanya uzo ntu ba ino mocha mu gobona ina ane ya. Ibe kwa na obya ngu ba neje e ahyano na mbise. Obu gobona ina ane ya. Oche trandi ngo pala. Ohu nundi ngo pala na. So it is so bad. I'm asking that you interfect. Where work is ongoing. So it's a very long uh, distant uh, road okay. was uh, done by Governor Denwa and nobody has touched that road again mm -hmm. since then. Mm -hmm. So uh, the Governor of Imo State, since he has started from the starting point and he has a plan to complete, despite the rain, the Governor has been working and we know that he has a good heart and he's, he loves Singapore people. So we are, go we are going to focus on roads. Uh, that's not, not that, that that's not the only road. You know that we have this road at Umeri, and we're going to Umokronopehi, okay. where Umokronopehi is the rivers rivers access. Oh, okay. uh, when you cross Umokronopehi, you enter River State Obite. We also acknowledge that that, that road there. We've all, we've made we've tore around Ngopala and recorded all the roads. In fact, the governor is aware of all the erosion sites. Okay. Uh, in Ngopala, and he, he promised to do something. You know, we have this is rainy season. I know. Despite I know. that, but he's still working. I know. And again, the corona. The coronavirus yeah, but I know is that, a uh, serious pandemic yes, I know. that I know. is ravaging the world. I know. So, uh, well, first of all, we need to secure our people okay. before we talk about the economy. I know. Security, life security is very important because in life, there's everything. So we need In to life, secure. there is uh, everything. everything. Hello there. Good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Hey, good afternoon. 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 Don't turn on the Don't
Show you when the chairman of Pimbi told me come, you'll also retreat this uh, you know, call. Mm -hmm. Let's have your parting words. Um, what do you want them to do for you? What do you want them to do for the government? Um, what is the hope like for Nubengo Bala I mean, from now to the next two years or three? Yes, uh, just like I said, uh, we are extremely optimistic about the future because the governor is in charge in Imo State. Um, our people have shown support to the governor and they, we love the governor. And they are happy that I am in charge because the coronavirus is what has delayed the developmental plan that I have. I have an investors ready to come in and invest in Ngopala to create an uh, airport industrial park. We need an industry, we need industries, not one. We need mm -hmm. industries in Ingopa. So we have a plan for an airport industrial park uh, where we can use something. And if possible, because taking advantage of the airport, mm. we can quickly export to other states and other African countries right. or other world. So the investors are waiting patiently for the coronavirus to go away so that they can come in and invest in Ingopa. We have other international investors too, uh, ready to partner with Ngobala in so many areas. But I'm not going to mention some of these areas until we start uh, working it's okay. at this moment. It's okay. Thank you. Actually, what we're doing um, on this first phase of your yeah, you know, uh, environment is um, what you call Know Your IMC Chairman. Yeah, there is a number a lot of you would come on this once you have to leave and let us know what you have on the ground for the people i want to thank you for answering this very important state call uh the chairman of uh, ngobala lga honorable mayor obina Mweke. i like your voice All right. a very sharp voice thank <laughs> you sir, for coming thank you very okay. much right um at 2 30 we shall be having the Chairman of our low local government, Lady um, uh, Ifi Nduku, will be here, and then others will also join. I am Julie Soji in Focus Continues at half past one. Please stay with us. <laughs>